the Aita Kalacho. Are you a sweet sound and intelligent Princess Silke? So I am reiterating that Paul is absolutely incapable and inept to handle any professional concept in that progression. What? He should be stripped off? Of what? I don't know him. I don't see him. But he should not create more mayhem. That is for sure. He is mentally disabled. He is not capable. Of making decisions or of handling and acting properly. He's not professional, he's an unprofessional person who not even as a human being is up to interact in a healthy and sane manner. Yeah, well, a loony bin, I don't know if that would be helpful. What to dwell in his delusion? <laughs> I don't see the point of it. I hear that he's being delusional and making accusations. Well, I don't hear him. If that would be the case, definitely off. But it makes only so sense because it would just be a continuity, continuity of what he has been presenting before. Every single sense of the way, in every single aspect, he is not in his right mind. He is also not sensitive to humans' needs, which makes him, of course, abusive. And that is just what anybody may see. If I look into the perspective of the field, he had been tremendously raping my field for years on end. This is absolutely unacceptable. Yet yeah, it did not keep this acknowledged. Considering the new world, and the new earth, he has no space in there. Is he bowing? Is he humble? Is he apologetic? Oh, he's not? <laughs> then what? what's he doing? It makes no sense. This is open mic. I respond. You don't want it in black and white? Fine, I'll leave it. <gasps> I don't know, just doing something different. Paul inflicted my space in very many harsh ways, and very many of them. He has no space within me. He never reached out to my heart. Yeah, maybe you will call my love charity case. He never reached out to my heart. Not even slightly. I'm not exactly sure what you wish to achieve. But buggering me for so long. Not even when I ask him to refrain. He stopped. Not even then. <laughs> 